Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a very quick get ready with me. This is going to be like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm going to go over my current makeup routine. This is like, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I don't wear foundation, I don't wear concealer, I don't really bake for more than 30 seconds. So my makeup is very minimal and very quick. So hopefully this routine won't take too long. Um, I've already done my skincare. I use the Caudalie Vino Source. Uh, moisture sorbet and then the making shade SPF from Beauty Society um, and that's been sitting in for about 10 minutes now so I'm gonna take the Onomie I don't know if it's French if it's Onomie or if it's Onomi I'm not sure they sent me a PR package with like quite a few things but I'm gonna be using two of them today the first is the powerful priming serum and this I usually use about two pumps of the primer and I'm just going to dot that on my face. And this primer I actually really, really like. I was very surprised when I received the package. I had never heard of the brand before, but I am obsessed with this primer. It's amazing. Um, it is a priming serum, so it does have skincare properties in here as well. Now, one thing that I do want to make sure you guys are aware of, even if a makeup item says infused with skincare or if there is a priming moisturizer, that does not replace your skincare. Um, like, a, for example, the Glam Glow Moisture Glow Mud, that is not a moisturizer, okay? I know it is marketed as a moisturizer, but that is an illuminating primer. Um, if your moisturizers have dimethicone, um, silicone, mica, like any of those makeup things in them, they're not skincare. So I just want to make that clear that even if you do decide to get this and it is amazing, don't use this as your serum. Um, you should also be using a serum. So after that, I'm going to apply the illuminating eye treatment. This is the active line control, active line correcting highlighter with 10% vitamin C. So in addition to it being illuminating, it is also brightening with the vitamin C in there. So I'm taking one pump of this. It's actually way too much. And I'm just going to start that right along my under eye area. And this is not a concealer. This is a treatment. So this has skincare properties in it as well as um, some mica in there to be illuminating. Okay, so I got a phone call there. So um, I did apply the serum to the under eye area on both sides and then a little bit on my forehead and down my nose as well. I don't know if you can pick up the illumination. And I'm sorry, my ring light is broken. So oh, my lighting is all jacked right now. So let's continue. Now that the serum has been applied and we're letting that soak in for a little bit, I'm going to apply um, setting powder. And for that, I'm using the Kat Von D Locket. What is it? Yeah, the Locket setting powder. Not my favorite, but um, I feel like you guys are getting tired of me using the Cody. So we are going to take that and just set the under eye area pretty liberally because I want to get rid of a little bit of the shine from the um, illuminating serum. So I'm just going to make um, Tachi's famous alien face and really press that in just in the under eye area. And I'm also going to bring this on the nose. Anywhere I want to be a little more matte, I'm applying it like liberally like this. And then I'm just going to tap off the rest of my brush and then just sweep that away. Go over my eyes a little bit because I will be applying shadow so I want a smooth canvas for that. And then once that bake is swept away, swept away, swept away, I'm taking a larger brush and just whatever's left in the cap here, I'm just bringing that around the rest of my face, just so there's no tacky layer. All right, now that is done, let's move on. I'm gonna use blush today um, because I want a little bit of a glow, but not like a lot. 
Um, and for that, I'm taking Milani Luminoso. I know, I'm sorry. Um, and I'm going to be taking the Sephora IT brush. This is Milani Luminoso. The lighting is not picking up anything in here. And there we go. Now I'm going to contour. Uh, where's my contour palette? Here it is. And I'm going to do that using the Anastasia Contour Kit and a Sigma F40. I'm going to start that right at the back of my cheekbone. Bring that down along the underside of the cheekbone and then blend up. I'm also going to bring this under the jaw. And when you're doing face blending, this is, a, this is a tip that I've never mentioned on my channel. You want to hold the brush at the end. If you're holding it here, you have too much pressure. This will let you blend out a little bit more and have a little more control. So again, I'm starting right at the back of my ear to deposit most of the color. And then I'm going to run that under my cheekbone. And then blend up. I'm not going to put this away because I'm going to contour my nose, um, but I'm going to now move on to bronzer. And for that, I'm not going to use a bronzer per se because I've been finding the bronzer that I've been using is very orange on me. So I am taking these two right here from the Makeup Artist Network um, powder palette thing. Um, and this is more of a, like, actual skin tone. I think these are actually foundations, if I remember correctly, so that's why they're more skin-like. And I'm just going to buff that along the perimeter of my face. Yeah, these are definitely powder foundations, because they're giving me coverage. Um, didn't want that. It's okay. Uh, Without my ring light, I've been applying like way too much product lately. Like I've been going out into the daylight, into the daylight. I've been going out in sunlight and realizing that my bronzer is like stupid strong. So I'm gonna stop there, even though I can't see anything. I think that did something. Um, and now we are going to do my brows. I had a lot of questions about the order in which I do things and why I do them in such an order. Um, a lot of people do brows either first or last, and the reason I do brows um, in the middle and not first or last is because, one, I don't like doing it at the end because um, I sometimes get a little heavy-handed with brows, so if I'm doing other blending and stuff, I can kind of fix that along the way. Um, and then also, because of my contour, I want my brows mapped out and done before I start shaping my nose. So this is a newer product to me. This is actually the Giordana um, Quick Brow Micro Pencil. This, I, I'm fairly certain Tati recommended this to me, but otherwise I just saw it at Walgreens and wanted to try it out. But yeah, so just brushing up my brow hairs. Um, So I'm really just lightly filling them in, not going over the shape too much. I just groomed them the other day, so there's not really a ton that I need to do right now. And yeah, okay, that's good. I'm just really filling in the sparser areas. Again, I'm not changing the shape of the brow. I just adjusted my brows. And then when you get into like this area here, you want to turn your pencil so you're going upwards and following the natural hair growth. And then brush that out and we're done. And then we're going to move on to the eyes. So. The palette that I have been using kind of exclusively is the Tartist Pro. 
Tartis Tardis Pro, I don't know, whatever. And then um, I've really just been smoking out very neutral colors on the um, lid. So I'm taking peach, no, what am I saying? Bold and Indie, and I'm mixing those two first, and that literally in the highest point of my crease without going into the brow. And after that's on, I'm gonna take Chic and this other lighter shade right here, which is Classic, and I'm just gonna buff that right on top as kind of a brow highlight, but also just to buff out any harsh lines. And then I'm going to switch to a smaller brush, and I'm gonna take Edgy, which is this dark chocolate brown, similar to um, Brown Down by MAC or Fudge by Anastasia. And this, I'm gonna focus mostly on the outer corner and then on the lower lash line. And I'm going back and forth between my eyes because I want the color to be distributed evenly. I don't want more pigment on one eye than the other um, because I'm not going back into the pan for this color. This is a very, very pigmented and it can sometimes make me look a little too smoky. To highlight, I'm taking the Cargo HD Illumination Palette and I'm mixing the two highlighting shades on the side. This one right here is very similar to like an hourglass powder. It's more of like a soft focus finishing powder. And I'm just gonna hit that right on the cheekbone for a little glow, right on the brow bone. These are really soft highlighters, but they're pretty intense. So you can kind of just sweep them all over. You'll see it a little bit better on this side. Hopefully. So it gives just a really nice soft glow. Um, then for my nose, I'm going to take the same shades and I'm going to pop them right down the bridge. Just like that. Um, for the tip of my nose, I want a little bit more illumination, so I am going to be taking, um, where is it? Ah, I'm going to be taking this highlighter right here. It's from Luna. Um, this is the shade Luna. And this highlight is just gorgeous. It's like a really kind of, it's almost frosty, so I don't know why I like it so much. It's not for my skin tone, but I'm, I've been really liking it. So now that that is done, I am going to contour my nose using, again, the Anastasia Contour Kit. Um, I'm going to go right in the Filtrum first. And then go under the lip. And then I'm going to contour underneath my nose to, like, lift the tip of it, or give it a tip. I, like, my nose is rounded, it doesn't come to a point, um, which I hate. So, that kind of makes my nose look like it stops here, so, yeah. And then, this is why I like doing my brows first, because now I see how far I've drawn them in, and I know I don't want to bring my contour in any farther than where they end. If you don't contour your nose, yes, I would I would say it is probably best to do your brows either last or before your eyeshadow, just so you have a frame. Um, but that also is more important if you don't have already pretty shaped brows. Like if you if you're the type of person who, when you do your brows, you literally are sculpting an entirely new brow shape, you probably should do that first so that you can see the shape. But if you're kind of like mine where they're already done, you're just filling in a little bit, or like Jonathan, um, you really don't need to do your brows first. Um, I do recommend doing them right before you do your nose contour if you contour your nose. All right, now we are going to do mascara. Um, I don't have one that I've been liking recently, um, so I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm going to regret this later, because I know that this is a fucking bitch to take off, but... Alright. Oh my god, and it's so thick. Shit. I mean... We all get to that point where we've gone too far, and there's no... You just gotta go the whole way. I really wanted very natural lashes today, but we're gonna go for full... Full mascara, because this just got 
way out of hand. I hate this mascara. Um, if you guys like this mascara, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not a bad mascara, but it's not what I look for. I personally like very, very natural length. I don't like seeing mascara at all. <sighs> That's really intense. I'm gonna have to brush that out for a good five minutes after this dries. Alright, and that is the finished look, guys. Again, I'm really sorry about the lighting. Let me see if I can get better light. Alright, so my bathroom has pretty much the best lighting that I can find right now until I um, replace my ring light. But yeah, so this is the finished look. Super natural, very easy. There's, like, no makeup involved at all. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then... Bye, uh...